In this video, you're going to see how to combine the filter function with a regex test function to perform dynamic wildcard searches. In our search cell, we can input a search value and our filter function will return all vendor names that contain our search value, but this is just one of many search patterns we can perform. Stick around and you'll see them all. As of this recording date, the regex test function is only available to Excel 365 users who have the insiders version. If you have Excel 365 and want to get the insiders version, it's free to upgrade to. There's a link in the description on how to do this. The first thing we need to do is convert our data set to a table. Click on any cell in the data set and hit control plus the letter T. A create table dialog box will appear. You can either click OK or hit enter. Next, we'll go up to the table design ribbon and rename our table to clients in the leftmost section. After that, we'll input a search value in our criteria search cell G2. Next, we'll insert our combined filter and regex function. The first input of the filter is our data set. Here we reference our client's table. The next input is our criteria range. Here we'll insert the regex test function. The first input is what value we want to evaluate against our search pattern. Here we reference our client's table, followed by an opening bracket to add our criteria column from that table. Select the vendor name column and add a closing bracket. The second input is our search pattern. Here we reference our criteria cell G2. The final input is case sensitivity. Here we'll select zero for case sensitive and add a closing parenthesis followed by a comma. We then add the final input for the filter function. The message to display if nothing is returned. The formula returns all vendors that contain the word prime anywhere in the name. We can update our search value and the output will adjust accordingly. Now we'll focus on different types of wildcard search patterns. If we only want to pull back records that begin with the word delta, we simply add a caret symbol on the front of our search value of our criteria cell. If we only want to pull back records that end with the word delta, we add a dollar symbol to the end of our search value. Now let's search on any name that is exactly four text characters regardless of the casing. We begin with the caret symbol to indicate begins with. Next, we add a set of brackets with capital letters A to Z, followed by lowercase letters A through Z. This indicates all alpha characters. Following that, we add a set of curly brackets to indicate how many of these text characters we want. After that, we add a dollar symbol to indicate an ending point. This returns all vendor names with exactly four text characters. Now we'll look at number patterns. There are two ways to find vendor names that contain numbers. The first is backslash and lowercase d. This returns all names that contain a number. You can also input the number range 0 to 9 and enclose it in brackets. Now we'll search on names that only begin with numbers. To do that, add a caret symbol at the beginning of the pattern. This returns all vendors that begin with numbers. Now we'll search on names that only begin with four digits. To do this, simply add a set of curly brackets after the pattern with a value of four inside. Next, we'll look at vendors that only end with numbers. Simply add a dollar sign following the number range search pattern. Now let's assume we only want to return names that end with three digits. Between our search pattern and dollar symbol, add curly brackets with three inside. We can also perform searches on a list of items. To do this, simply input each search item with a vertical bar as the separator. This returns all names that contain delta or gamma. We can apply the same begins with and ends with logic to our list items. There are other ways we can search on multiple criteria. 
Let's assume we want to return all names that begin with the letters B-A-T or B-I-T. To do this, we begin with our caret symbol, followed by the capital letter B. Since our second letter is multiple items, we enclose each letter inside a set of brackets, followed by the letter T. This returns records that begin with B, A, T, or B, I, T. We can add additional letters inside the brackets for more scenarios. That's all for this lesson. See you in the next one.